It's been a week since St. Mary's School of the Assumption reopened for in-person classes. Now teachers and staff are revealing what they've learned so far. News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti found out what's worked and what's been adjusted. Administrators at St. Mary's School of the Assumption in Santa Maria say the transition back to campus during the pandemic has been smooth. Everyone's been patient and understanding as we implement our new processes to get everyone safely back on campus. Parents are also seeing a difference in their kids returning to the classroom. He's a different child. He is very excited. Every morning he's ready to come to school. Staff members say when students start to get physically too close to others, they've been good about helping each other out. We remind one another that we need space and we remind one another to have our masks on properly. During the first day of school, the morning drop-off was slightly delayed with temperature checks and other health procedures added into the daily routine. But the line is moving very quickly now and we even had Santa Maria Police um, Department's traffic unit came out and took a look at our morning drop-off to make sure we're doing the best we can. While school has only been open for a week, parents say kids already seem happier. His behavior has changed. Um, he is happier, he smiles more. If everyone continues following health orders, the school hopes the 7th and 8th graders will return soon as well. Our 7th and 8th graders remain distance learning until the county um, stays in the red for long enough. So we're very hopeful that soon we can bring them back and our, our whole family will be back on campus. In Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti. San Luis Obispo County announced 20 new COVID-19 cases today. There are now 202 active cases. Six people are hospitalized with one in the intensive care unit. More than 3,400 people have recovered. Paso Robles has the highest number of cases with 888. San Luis Obispo is second highest with 613. Atascadero is third with 379. 292 inmates at the California Men's Colony have tested positive. Ventura County announced 80 new COVID-19 cases today. There are now 704 active cases. 41 people are hospitalized, including eight in the ICU. More than 12,000 people have recovered. 